when you're inspecting an alloy chain sling, the first thing you want to look at is the identification tag. The identification tag is required for Ocean ASME. Uh, the manufacturer needs to be on there, serial number, working load, size, length, description, and material, whether it's grade 80, grade 100. you determine all that is on there, then what you'll do is start with the top of the chain and you'll check the master link, see if it's got any bent, twisted, uh, stretched, gouges, weld splatter, and you're always looking for a manufacturer's marking. So, and we'll go right down the chain, inspect the hammer locks. Uh, manufacturers are required to be on there. Hammer locks are supposed to swivel freely. Uh, they're not stretched, they're not bent. So when you look at the alloy chain, uh, there's going to be a manufacturer's marking on pretty much every other link. Uh, the manufacturer's marking is required to be on there. Uh, that'll also tell you not only who the manufacturer is, but the greatest deal. It'll say 8, 80, 800, 1, 10, 100, 1000. Um, and you're actually going to go link by link, and you're going to twist your links usually start one way, flip it 90 degrees. So what you're doing is you're checking for uh, bent links one way while you're also checking for stretch on another link. And then you'll go ahead and rotate it 90 and check the other links. And then you go ahead and flip it the rest of the way just to see if there's anything on the backside. Uh, you're also looking for gouges. Uh, you're looking for weld splatter, heat damage, anything of that sort. So you'll go all the way down the links until you get to the bottom hooks. Uh, hooks are supposed to have the manufacturer marking on it. Um, you're going to go ahead and check the plane of the hook to make sure it's, it has no twist in the end of the hook. You're also going to check the opening to see if it's not opened up. Um, and then also the obvious heat splatter, um, heat damage, gouges, wear, uh, anything of that sort. Two examples that you would not want to have in service if you find something like this. Um, so this chain here, uh, you can see actually the, the, the tag is actually damaged, it's getting stretched out. Uh, that happens to a lot of tags, but um, this manufacturer chose to put GAC on here to hold the tag on. Uh, we don't exactly go that way. We, we like to use a, an alloy tag affixed directly to the coupling link. Um, this is a lot stronger, it's going to last a lot longer. Um, this chain here, we're going to go down the leg here, and we've already inspected this, but if you look at these links closely, there's weld damage all over, there's weld splatter, and the links are pretty much melted. Um, this, this chain here, you go down and you compare the two hooks. This hook is in the correct plane, and this one here is opened up, the tip is opened up. So these are both chains that we would pull out of service. You also want to make sure that nobody in your facility has altered or modified chain slings. Any modifications need to be done from the factory.